So we're here at uh, sunny Santa Monica for the Absa California 2017. And uh, we have uh, our second keynote of the day here. Closing keynote is uh, Chris Roberts, Chief Technology Architect of Acalvio. And uh, I'd like to welcome you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it for having me here. It's a, a beautiful location. Great. And uh, having just wandered down to the beach and back, I'm happy. I get to see the Pacific now. So all is good. So would you like to start by telling us what you do in your when you're not uh, going out <laughs> to uh, you know, conferences and talking to people? What do you do in your day job? Oh my gosh, a whole bunch of things. The Calvio has got me so doing a whole bunch of different things. With the Calvio, we're obviously building the deception technology. So we're taking the old idea of honeypots, kicking it into this century, and actually really putting a lot more of the adaptive, predictive work behind it. Mm -hmm. So my job inside there is to basically do what I do, act as the bad guy and help teach the deception technology how to react when I attack it. So some fun stuff, and we'll talk a little bit about that in the keynote. Um, doing a bunch of research with them as well, which is a lot of fun. So what do you think the greatest challenges are uh, in doing that and adaption technology? I think part of it is, I mean, I'm one of the things I'll be assassinating later on is like the user behavior analytics and the next generation of stuff, which is like, guys, mm -hmm. you've slapped next year's blinky light on this year's equipment and you've got really good marketing. So what the heck else are you doing? You know, it hasn't worked for 20 years. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do differently? You know, how do we actually need to stop relying on the static equipment that we have and part, start putting stuff inside that actually looks at the environment it's in, adapts more effectively to the environment it's in, and actually helps us, rather than giving us more bloody screens to watch and everything else, it actually helps us do what we need to do. And how do you educate the people in the security industry? Oh, That's actually what they <laughs> That one's a challenge. That one's, that one's a challenge. I think it's just continually doing the messaging. Mm -hmm. I'm putting the research out. I mean, the, the research, I'll, I'll be talking a little bit about it today, which is we start breaking down into nano architecture, so inside the human. So no longer do we hack the human by social engineering them, mm -hmm. we hack them by directing RF signaling at them and messing around with nanotube architectures inside them. So if we haven't got our security fixed now and we haven't figured out how to actually take it beyond the stage it was at 20 years ago, which we really haven't, I got issues that in 10, 15 years time, we'll have architecture inside of us that we still have less control over than we do today, especially with the plethora of IoT devices and everything else that's going on. So yeah, there's some challenges. Oh, okay. So what made you think that uh, Upstate California would be a good uh, venue to come and talk to people? I think it's a different audience. I mean, and this is one of the things I rib on about our industry. Infosec guys typically speak to other information security professionals. So it's, it, we, we're talking to ourselves, so we need to get a better audience. So coming out to AppSec, where you've got a lot of the, the late, a lot of the younger generation going, so you've got the 20, 35-year-old guys here trying to outcool each other. Yeah. Um, getting a conversation with them and going, hey, when you look at building it, don't just build a point solution. Don't just build something that's going to solve one little bit of a problem in one little thing. Start looking broader. Start throwing the crystal ball five years down the line, 10 years down the line. How can I develop something now that will help me and help others five or 10 years in the future? And what can I do to broaden it so it's not just focused on enterprise, so it looks at all of the distributed data. So it's trying to get that word out to, you know, the AppSec professional guys, and it's a hell of a community you guys have got here. It's really, really cool. So it's getting the word to them, and then they'll spread it to their teams, and off we go from there. Great. Well, glad to have you here. Yeah, awesome to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.